interesting you say that. We have been working, as you know, for many mm -hmm. years on the issue of corruption. But one thing that happened last year was that President Biden recognized that corruption was an international problem. It was on the level of a problem that he recognized no one nation can answer alone. Uh, and he issued an executive order that put uh, fighting corruption front and center in our national security policy. So we now have a national security policy that says fighting corruption is in our national security interest. And he followed that up by launching an initiative called the Summit for Democracies, in which he pulled together uh, communities of democracies uh, from around the world to have a common dialogue and discussion about how we could come together using our resources to help get at exactly what you're talking about. How to figure out where does the corruption exist and then what can we do to get at it. Now for every country that's going to have to be a national solution but there are ways that we can work together and we were very um, pleased to see President Pendorovsky in December at the Summit for Democracies stand up and outline a whole of government approach to fighting corruption uh, and promoting good governance that would involve every level of government and invite participation also from the private sector, from NGOs, um, to be part of this global effort. Um, and through that, we're looking at ways where we can bring our best practices, our shared expertise, and to some degree, some of our tools and instruments to yeah. bear to help support each other to take on these issues. Because at the end of the day, again, it's up to us to fix our democratic institutions and to make sure that they're accountable. But there are ways that we can support each other in that process. Uh, 